On December 23rd, uh, 1983, Korean Flight 084, a McDonnell Douglas DC-10 from Anchorage to Los Angeles while attacking out in the fog, the Korean crew become disorientated and ended up on their own run runway. During the takeoff run, the aircraft collided head-on with the South Central Air Flight 59 at Piper PA-31, which was taken off from runway 24 right for a flight to Kenai. The nine occupants of the South Central were injured. DC-10 overrun the runway by 1,434 feet and came to rest 40 feet right of the extended center line. Federal investigators determined that the Korean flight that failed to follow accepted procedure during tacky, causing disorientation while selecting the runway. The pilot also failed to use the compass to confirm his position. Ultimately, the pilot's decision to proceed with takeoff without knowing if he was on the correct runway caused the impact. The damage was a total airframe breakup with no death or no injury for the Korean crew. At the time of the crash, I was on duty as an airport police fire officer in my assigned post with ramp captain was the call sign at 604. In this post, I mounted a small pickup truck with a dry chem packet and on ramp side. I heard the tower report that the aircraft was down on the departure end of runway uh, 24 right, and I was giving clearance to the scene upon arriving as the only responder at the time. I found the aircraft to be mostly intact other than having the tail broke partially off and I attempted to contact my dispatch but was unable to due to the traffic between the chief and watch commander. At my arrival, I thought it was a plane full of passengers because of its configuration. I spelled all the dry chem that I had and stood hopelessly watching the aircraft uh, catch on fire and I was terrified that I was witness, being witness to the death of hundreds of people on board. But after a few minutes, uh, I looked up toward the front of the aircraft and there were three of the crew members that got out of the cockpit and were making their way around to me. It was to my great relief that once I uh, made contact with a, the with a flight crew and placed them in my uh, pickup where they would be warm, uh, they informed me that they were the only people on board the aircraft. That, that really made me feel a lot better. This video was took by John Gone a retired officer of airport police and fire anchor international airport he was also a co-worker of mine the, the arrow shot was taken from trooper helicopter hill one pilot by the late bob larkin That blue flame is magnesium burning.
You notice there was no one wearing air pack at this time. We were just busting right on through it, breathing all that just stuff up. If I recall correctly, I believe there were some of the officers wound up in the hospital from inhaling that stuff. Standing approximately at the center line. Runway six left, shooting to the south. Heading to my right, or westbound. And this is a photograph lying at the center of the runway. Also shown in one of the morning or one of the papers today.
towards the west. Right side of the aircraft. Six left. We're looking eastbound, panning to the north, northeast. We'll go back to the center line, and now panning to the south, southeast. Thank you. 